Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we began our assault on the Dean's office. We are going to confront the superhero. In this episode, I am going to uh, heal up real quick at the nurse's office because I can. And then, we are going to continue our assault on the Dean's office. Let's go! Did he see fit to clean my house? Where does he get the nerve to redecorate it, too? This isn't the work of mere delinquents. Isn't that right, DS gentlemen? What? The DS gentlemen? Hmm. I'm amazed that you sensed my super shy presence. Hey, you're in our party! You obviously look suspicious. Should I bother asking your name? Among the DS gentlemen, I am known as the Space Detective Pretty Mask. Space Detective? Then you must be a real hero! What is it with this guy in Space Detectives? I'm telling you, man. Sadly, I am not. Though I do wish and pray to become a space detective every day. Might I add, my costume was handmade by me, and modeled after my image of what a true space detective should be. That's quite an honest confession. Does that mean you're a delinquent? So are you the one who did this to my home? You are very astute. Yes, it is I who lived in the pretty statue and reformed the school by night. A pretty one saw me, and for whatever reason called me Pretty Mask. So reluctantly, I now go by that name. Actually, I am just an overly powerful and antisocial man. <laughs> you said you reformed the school? Were those the superhero's orders? Yes. That great man gave me, a social recluse, the task of renovating the campus! By doing so, he gave me a reason to live. Even if it turns out he's not the superhero, I'd give my life for him. This man has not been brainwashed. Unfortunately, because he is a member of the DS Gentlemen, we'll have to wipe his smug face off with the floor. He does look rather confident for not being a real space detective. Just in case, let's all gang up on him together! <laughs> Sapphire tactics. Princess, that just makes us sound like the bad guys. You're wrong. In all of history, only those who lost are bad guys. For whoever wins are the ones who were right. Let us begin, Prinny Mask. When I'm through with you, you'll only have to figure out the detective part. <laughs> oh man, that's actually pretty clever now. Okay, here we are. These guys are a pain. Try and stay along the outside borders if you can. There are geocubes here and here blocking you from climbing up the oversized power cords. We also have guys, we also have somebody here, who is just there for reasons, I guess, I don't know. I'll show you! Let's go! Experiment! Oh. 
Alright, now we've taken care of one of those, we can climb up there, eventually. Still have a little bit of a texturing weirdness between the uh, things here. Oh well. Oh, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to do something with that guy. <laughs> oh well. He can counterattack, so it's fine. Alright, here are the dragons, and since they are not quite as high up, they are not as much of a threat as they were before. So, let's deal with them. Pretty Mask has a unique weapon. The shovel is a spear-type weapon that paralyzes anybody it attacks from behind. As for Pretty... Uh, Pretty Mask himself. He cannot be lifted, but his stats increase by 20%. He has a couple of spear moves, in spite of having uh, no weapon forte. He has pretty good stats all around, really. Not much to say there. But he is no match for us. So let's deal with him. There's any way to interpret that where you don't sound like the villain. I didn't expect you to overpower me so quickly. Was that why I became so antisocial in the first place? Oh, my, my. Prinny Mask lost. It looks like it's my turn now. There's another DS, gentlemen? <laughs> now that I'm here, your victory streak just ran out. At times, I've been your luring nurse. At times, I've worked part-time at the weapon shop. And at other times, I've even been your sexy Miss Machiko. But my true identity is DS Gentleman, member Sure Death Hellman Beyond X. In the name of Night, I'll put up a fight. Okay. How can so many ladies be gentlemen? <laughs> Irrelevant detail, Almaz. <sighs> Boss. Chewie, is that you? What happened? The 
Careful, boss. She's not alone. Uh, I was gonna surprise them. Why'd you have to spoil my fun? Wait a minute. I thought all of the DS gentlemen were supposed to be on field trips or something. <laughs> it's a DS gentleman party. Sounds fun. I'll take you all on. On the unlucky Friday of April 13th, during the dead of night, did you steal my lunch money? I finally found you, my mortal enemy! How about you return my lunch money now? Lunch money? Who are you? I am Diaz Gentleman, Chiron the Transfer. In search of my lunch money, I transfer aimlessly and blame anyone. Okay... That's pretty unfair, but at least you're aware that you're making random accusations. <laughs> I think this game just got silly again. Mean. Suppress thyself, and even fire feels cool. Here I am, Effort Ninja, Gorillion of the DS Gentlemen. Gorillion? Why do all of you DS Gentlemen have such weird names? Not that I care, but you're a little on fire! Jutsu is effort. Jutsu is guts. Even in fire or water, there is nothing one cannot do. A forced Jutsu? I'm sure Master would approve. Indeed, I feel the same way. There is nothing in this world you cannot do. When your fire is weak, go high heat! So a total of three, DS gentlemen, huh? This might be a little tough. <laughs> Getting scared, Beryl? <laughs> no way! I'm just enjoying this thrill! Is it just me, or are you shaking? <laughs> I'm just excited! I bet their bodies can withstand all kinds of experiments! You silly nutbags! Do you really think you can fight all of us at once and win? You kids are gonna die. Excuse me, young lady. It would be of grave inconvenience if I let them die. This was an emergency. Forgive me for such an inelegant arrival without an invitation. Master Big Star! You! Though our visions may differ, our enemies remain the same. What do you say we go bury the hatchet, Overlord Sun? <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> it seems you've changed. It looks to me as if you've finally become aware of your duty as a leader. I can tell by the sparkle in your eyes. A light twinkling as if from a precious gem. You've gained some good friends. Salvatore the Magnificent? That makes four Diaz gentlemen! I have a declaration to make. I hereby secede from the Diaz gentlemen as of this moment. So, they are now the Nueve gentlemen. You are the ones who are insane! That demon obeys orders from a hero! Have you forgotten? A demon is one who lives carefree to their heart's content. What did you do with your demon pride? <laughs> well said! I didn't expect an ordinary chef would bring me to my senses. For that, I thank you. So, what now? You were attracted by his strength and swore loyalty to him alone. It was a mistake. A true demon challenges such strengths. I will defeat the superhero. I didn't expect the DS gentlemen to join our ranks. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Oh yeah, what part? Damn these people just popping out of nowhere. When will we get to fight? Don't you want to see all the introductions first? <laughs> Do you want to be fixed up? I'll make you fire missiles from your boobs! 
Oh no, it's Mecha Jennifer! I'm glad we got more allies. I mean, the sophomore class leader and a DS gentleman's not too shabby. Boss, we can still fight too, I say. We are here as well! Who the hell are you? I am the school board president. I brought the PTA along as well. Why are you people getting involved in this? It's an educator's job to guide their delinquents. It's only normal. Don't you jabronis forget about Gold Knuckle of beheading Kempo. <laughs> you know, even though it's the last episode and all, it's not like you could just come out whenever you feel like it. Yes, it does. They are back for the finale. Let me tell you, Gold Knuckle did some soul searching after our fight. And saw that all the money is in turning face. <laughs> that the truth. Who's Zen? That's not Zen at all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's getting way too crowded in here. I need to report this to Sir Superhero. The DS gentleman ran away? Well, that happened. Okay, so moving on. Most likely our next fight will be the final battle. What about the other five gentlemen? There's way too many of you. <laughs> Super Beyond X. Great timing there, uh, on a court shoot. <laughs> She's fired. Okay! That totally happened, but we are going to be, uh, Alright, nothing new from anybody, so... Actually, before I go, we should check out Salvatore and Master Big Star stats. Here they are, both join us at level 65. Master Big Star takes half damage from humans. Salvatore takes half damage from special attacks. Rose and Stars, Rose Stinger, The Great Gun King, Duel. Ooh, power level S. Awesome. But it's attack based for some reason? Okay. In any case, that is what they do. They do have weapon forges, right? Yeah. Alright. That being said, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye for now.